A spectacle for sightseers in Wellington and a headache for salvage experts, the Wanganella lay hard aground on Barrett's Reef from the night of January the 19th until February the 7th. Despite every effort, she remained fast for 19 days. Fears grew that sudden bad weather would upset all plans to shift her. But strangely, it was partly due to the weather that she was refloated. For three days, a heavy swell buffeted the ship. Her position slowly changed, and on the night of February the 7th at 9 o'clock, with a tug pulling at her stern, she was free and afloat again. At 11.30, after a slow voyage assisted by tugs up the harbour, she was alongside Air Tier Key, a stricken ship safe again thanks to a grand feat of seamanship. Her refloating had not been without ceremony. As she came off the reef, Abel Seaman Meldrum launched her by breaking a bottle of Australian beer over her bows. With her stern high out of the water, she now had a list to port. With air compressors still roaring and helping to keep her afloat, her forecastle was now level with the wharf and her forward hatches well below it. Interviewed after her arrival with the noise of machinery and compressors still around him, Captain MacDonald, who was in charge of the salvage operations, said that those who'd worked on the job deserved all praise. They certainly most certainly do, uh, especially Mr. Dilworth, uh, Diver Johnson, uh, Captain Derrick, the officers, uh, engineers and the ship's crew, ship's crew, and also Cables Engineering Company. They've done a remarkably good job. Credit in New Zealand. Well, she's been a big job and one big headache, but after all, she's here alongside the wharf, and that's the main thing that counts. 